Good evening, Hello. everybody. How are you today? Hello, Iris. Hello, Rene. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Fine. Fine. Excellent. Very good. Welcome, Angel. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. Today, we are going to continue with the section number uh, three. So uh, remember that we couldn't attend classes uh, last uh, Friday before vacation. So for that reason, we are going to program an extra class tomorrow. Normally, we don't have classes on Friday. We just work from Monday to Thursday. But uh, this time, we are going to have a class tomorrow in the same schedule, okay? So for tomorrow, what we are going to do is to develop the um, last part of the section three, and then we are going to conclude with the midterm exam review, right? So that's what we are going to do tomorrow, and then by next Monday, we are going to be able to start the section number four in the uh, next week. The complete week is going to be section four, and later, the last week, uh, section five in the final exam. Okay, I'm going to say it in Spanish in order that this can be clear for all of us. Eh, como no tuvimos una clase antes de salir de vacaciones, ¿verdad? En el día viernes, entonces mañana nos toca la, la reposición, ¿verdad? Eh, mañana veríamos lo que es el final de la sección 3 eh, y lo que sería el midterm exam, el examen de medio periodo. Eh, porque eh, para la próxima semana ya todos vamos a estar en la unidad 4 y la última semana pues ya es la unidad 5 más el examen final. Ok, uh, it's the same, it's in the same schedule. Es en el mismo horario, ¿verdad? Para no afectarles eh, exactamente en el mismo horario que tenemos nuestra clase. Así que solo para esta semana vamos a estar eh, teniendo una clase en día viernes. So I'm going to start sharing my presentation that I have for you. So I would like to confirm, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. excellent. So let me advance to the part that I need to work with you, which is section number three. So we have advanced a lot now. Okay, so, um, yes. This is a pronunciation exercise that I told you. Uh, this is the, okay. In here, 3.9. In this session, oh, excuse me. Yes, uh, we are going to start here. In this session, a conversation will be played where uh, a waiter and a customer use modal verbs such as would and will for request, right? So you can go to the platform and in the platform, you will find the 3.8 conversation ordering a meal, right? So uh, I will recommend you to please go and watch the video many times that you can practice the vocabulary there. And of course that you can continue pronouncing the words that are new for you or that you are experiencing a difficulty to pronounce. Later, we are going to cover 3.9. In this session, the use of modal verbs would and will for requests will be taught. Uh, so this is what, what we are going to focus uh, the class tonight. And you can go to 3.10, um, and, and I mean video in the platform, where you can find more information about modal verbs uh, would and will for request. So uh, later we will have a knowledge check, but I'm going to stop sharing this because I'm going to come back later to this part. And now I would like to show you the presentation that I have for you tonight. And I would like that you can confirm. Can you watch my new screen? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for uh, confirming. Okay, we are going to continue talking about modal verbs. As you know, they are called modal verbs because they are not a verb itself. So it means that they um, just modify or help some other verbs 
but they don't be they cannot be conjugated in all the persons that's why they are called just modal verbs and in this case i just want to make sure that we focus on will and would right and uh, just to remind you we use will for the simple future uh, and for example, we say we will go for a picnic next week. So it helps us to talk about future plans or to make a humble request. Will you take seat, please? It's like very formal. It's, have, it's uh, ask, uh, having a request or saying a request in a very humble way. Or to explain, uh, express a routine. For example, he will often bomb midnight oil. For, for warning, it's like uh, to take you in advance the consequences of an action if you continue doing it. It's like warning. That's why it says for warning. Es como una preadvertencia, ¿verdad? O advirtiéndote eh, anticipadamente. Look, look here, or see here. If you insult your parents, you will be ruined. If you, and normally it has um, a conditional. If you insult your parents, the first part, you will be ruined. Promise. I will repay your loan next month. Okay, so I'm uh, giving you my, my honorable word that I will do it. I will pay you, your, I, will pay, I will repay your loan next month. Uh, the capacity, to express capacity. The bag will hold all the books. So the bag, can, it's like I say, the bag can contain, or the bag can support all the books. But in this case, I'm affirming the capacity and I say, the bag will hold all the books. Okay, this is will. And now I'm going to explain you about wood, right? Uh, wood, it's normally used, um, to talk about it's like the past tense of will in some in such a way um, we say uh, for example she said that she wouldn't help me or she she said that she would help me in my need a humble request would you please post this letter for me it's like iría uh, in spanish it's like we add iría to the verb él dijo que me ayudaría en mi necesidad ¿Podrías eh, enviar esta carta por mí? To know hitter's eh, intention. Would you like to stay with me tonight? Desire. I would like to give you some trouble. Preference. I would rather quit than submit to undue pressure. Right? I would rather quit than submit under undue pressure to submit to undue pressure. To know intention, would you mind giving me a lift in your car, right? Or, or giving me a ride in your car, right? So it's like, no te molestaría darme un ride, verdad? O, da, o llevarme o darme un aventón, como decimos en buen salvadoreño, en tu carro, en este caso, eh, llevarme, verdad? Sería lo más, lo más correcto. Okay, that's the comparison between both. Okay, now, I have here would like and would like to, because we need to know that there are two ways of using this. We use would like plus a noun, right? And would like to plus a verb. Remember that always that you have would like to, the next word that continues is a verb. But when you don't have the word to, the next word that comes is a noun. For example, I would like a cup of tea. A cup of tea is a noun. But in the other case, it says, I would like to drink tea. In this case, the word drink is a verb. So you're using the word to. Um, in this case, it's an affirmative sentence, right? It's an affirmative sentence. I have here the questions. When I have to make a question using the auxiliary would, I normally place it at the beginning of the sentence and then I say, would you like a cup of tea? It's a question, so I just move it at the beginning, but the rule 
keeps the same regarding that when I have um, would like with not to, the next word is a noun, a cup of tea. But when I was, would like to, the coming word is a verb. Would she like to drink tea? And look that in this case, would she like to drink tea? Would works as an auxiliary in a certain way. So that's why since it's a question, since this is a question, you don't have to add any letter S to the verb, to the main verb, even though you're talking about he, she, or it. Okay, let me advance with uh, the negatives. In this case, <clears throat> you can use the contraction wouldn't, wouldn't, right? Or wouldn't like to, wouldn't like, or wouldn't like to, always the same. He wouldn't like, now, a cup of tea. She wouldn't like, verb, to drink tea. And you can even provide short answers to the question. For example, would you like a cup of tea? You can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Would you like to drink tea? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. In this case, the answer can be the same. I just have here some warning and says, I would like a cup of tea is more polite to say, I want a cup of tea. You can say, I want a cup of tea only when you are in your family, for example, with some friends that you have, you are confident enough to say, uh, give me a tea, please or I want a cup of tea, I want a coffee, I want this and that, because of your family, because of your friend. So there are more, um, you're more familiar with them. But when you're talking with your boss, boss, with your friends, um, with a re in a restaurant with a waiter, so you don't have to say, I want a cup of tea. You always need to be polite and say, I would like a cup of tea, please. Um, when sometimes you don't, you don't find this expression like this, I would like a cup of tea, but you find it contracted and you just find, I'd like a cup of tea. And even people when speaking, they don't say, they normally don't say, I would like a cup of tea, please. They just say, I'd like, I'd, I'd, I'd like a cup of tea, please. Only that when speaking. Um, and in, in, uh, yes, I would, it's never contracted, yes, I'd, that doesn't exist. La contracción sí existe cuando yo hago la solicitud, pero no existe cuando yo doy la respuesta, ¿verdad? Nunca, perdón, se, contra, se contracta. Entonces se dice, yes, I would, siempre. La respuesta siempre es full, yes, I would. Eh, in response to an offer, you can say, no, thank you. Uh, instead of say no I wouldn't look always say no thank you instead of no I wouldn't because no I wouldn't it's like rude you know a little bit unpolite so here uh, when we talk about food normally we say would you like a burger and you have two choices to say yes please or no thank you would you like a sausage? Yes, please. No, thank you, right? So you can have both choices always. Would you like rice or some rice? Yes, please. No, thank you. Would you like some chips? Uh, in uh, UK, the French fries uh, are called chips. In the US, they are French fries. Just for you to know the difference, but we are talking about the same thing. Would you like some chips or would you like some french fries? No, thank you. Yes, please. Would you like some peas? Yes, please. No, thank you. Would you like some meat? Yes, please. No, thank you. Okay, here I have some, um, let me see. Okay, here I have some exercises that says, complete the sentences below. And I would like that you can try to find 
which is the right answer? Would like or would like to, right? So I will need uh, many volunteers because we have a lot of them. Okay, who wants to start? Quien quiere comenzar with number one? Me. me. Ah, okay. uh, lady, <laughs> ladies first. So just let me move to the, to the, not to the full. So let me, are you watching my screen yet? Todavía ven yes. Okay, perfect. I'm just moving to this uh, editing mode in order that, so let me just move a couple of things here in order to be more, a little bit faster when I write. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to draw a line in the right answer. So just let me draw a nice line <laughs> that can help us to watch it in a best way. So let me choose the best and a little bit, okay, like this, but in a bright, brilliant or visible color. Okay, excellent. So, oops. Okay, perfect. So, for number one, uh, my dear lady, um, would you like to say which is the right answer? I would like to travel to Spain next summer, but I don't have enough money. Excellent. I would like to travel to Spain next summer, but I don't have enough money. So, Era to travel, teacher. Era to travel. To travel, because the verb, uh, because travel is a verb right? Oh, okay. So you have to add two because the next word is a verb, right? Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, my second volunteer. My dear uh, participants, por ahí escucha un caballero. Um, number two. Yeah. Would you like to see an action movie tomorrow night? Excellent. Would you like to C, an action movie tomorrow night? Yes, because C is a verb. So you need to add the preposition to in this case. Okay, number three. Who wants to continue with number three? Me. Me? I have two me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, vamos a ver. No problem. Raquel, uh, Raquelita, okay. y, ¿y quién era la otra persona para tenerla en mente? Emperatriz. Emperatriz, vaya, que comience Raquelita y después Emperatriz, vaya. Okay, okay, Raquelita, tell me. Okay, are you ready to order? Yes, I would like. I would like a sandwich, please. Yes, I would like only because the next word that comes is a, a noun. So a sandwich is not a verb; it's a noun. So that's why would like only. Yes, I I would like a sandwich, please. Thank you, Emperatriz. Please, number four. Uh, the number four is the letter B. Mm -hmm. Could you I'm read that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Bora. Uh, what would you, you like to do this weekend? Excellent. It's like trying to invite someone to say what would you like to do, right? And do is a uh -huh. verb. So that's why it's correct to say would and like to. Thank you, Emperatriz. Okay, I need a, an extra volunteer for uh, the others. So you can continue participating, no matter if you have participated uh, uh, once. Okay. Which do you think is the best answer for number 10? Would like or would like to? Would like. Would like the only. Letter, the letter A. Letter A, would like, because mm -hmm. strawberry, it's a noun, it's not a verb. So uh, the reading could be, uh, which would, would you like, strawberry or vanilla ice cream? In this case, uh, they're asking for a choice. You have to make a choice. Which do you prefer, strawberry or vanilla, right? Okay, very good. Um, Let's see, number 11, what do you think the about letter, it? 
the letter B? Okay. Letter B. Yes, letter B. because drink is a verb, right? So the question is, would you like would you like to drink some tea? Yes, I would. Thank you. Okay. Number 12. Letter B. Yes, Letter because B. the word speak is a verb. So the question is, hello, hello. I would like to speak to Sarah, please. This is very common when you when you call and you're asking for someone else. And the last, and I mean the number 13. Letter B also. <laughs> yes. Are you ready to order? Normally this happens in a restaurant. Are you ready to order? And then the answer of the client is yes. I would like to try the garden salad. Try is like probar, ¿verdad? Eh, podría haber dicho I would like to order y está bien, pero try es como voy a probar. Eh, la ensalada tal. Ok, um, let's continue, continuemos, aquí tenemos más. <laughs> ok, number five. What do you think about number five? The letter A. B. A. Okay, let's try it with A. How many chocolate chips cookies would you like? Yes, would you like it? it because it's just a question, right? And, it, and we don't have a verb after, after the question mark. So it's the letter A. Thank you. Number six. Letter B. Letter B. Okay, let's letter try. Uh, would your kids like to play to play at the park next weekend? Yes, it's right that it's letter B because the word play is a verb. Okay, excellent. Number seven. Yeah. Letter A. Okay. Um, let's see who said letter A. Letter. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. it's, it's letter A because it says, would you like a cup of tea? Yes, I would. Thank you. And thank you is not a verb, right? So that's why it's only would. No, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have like. Porque este would like es cuando yo pido, ¿verdad? Pero cuando respondo, solo digo, yes, I would. Thank you. Okay, number eight. I feel sick, so I A. would like, right? Yes, would like, because if I'm sick, I'm not feeling well, but all I want is to be at home. So I feel sick, so I would like to go home early today. Thank you. Number 14. Let's see, my dears. The, the letter B? Letter B. Yes, because uh, cook is a verb. So you say, Jim said he would like to cook dinner for us this evening. Yes, that's right. Okay, number 15. Letter B. Okay, let's see. Go. Yes. Go is a verb. So the question is, which restaurant would you like to go tonight? Now, thank you. Number 16. Letter B. Letter B. See? Letter yes. B. Yes, letter B. Because boy is a verb. So can, can I help you? This is normally when you go to a store, normally the, the person that is attending client says, the, the customer agent says, can I help you? Or when you call, even they say, how can I help you? And you say, yes. I would like to buy, I would like to buy a hat. Okay, and number 17. Letter A. Let's see, let's try with number A. What kind of present would you like for your birthday? Yes, because for is a preposition, it's not a verb. So it's right to say, what kind of present would you like for your birthday? 
Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. You did a great job identifying the right way. And now let's continue. Uh, normally, when we are going to, to go uh, to a restaurant or to a, a place where you are going to buy something, um, that this is normally in a restaurant, they say, the, the waiter says, are you ready to take, um, to take order? And the person normally says, I'll start with salad. Another expression is, what would you like to order? And the person normally says, I would, but remember that I would is contracted I'd. So I'd like to have seafood sukiyaki. Would, would you like soup or salad with that? Remember that this is a very polite way to offer. So I don't want to, uh, normally you will never hear that they say, do you want? Normally they say, would you like? Would you like soup or salad with that? I think I'll have soup. That's the answer, right? Would you, would you like anything for dessert? Um, I mean for, yes. Uh, I'd like to have ice cream, right? I'd, remember, I'd. I would, it's contracted I'd. I'd like to have ice cream. Okay, very good. Now, uh, according to this, I would like that you can study the, the above boxes. It means would like to and, oops, excuse me, would like to and would like, and that you can fill in the blanks to complete the sentences. So I'm going to send you this, and uh, I would like that you can work together in the breakout rooms for a while and try to answer. If you can take a picture, it's okay. I'll send you mine. Okay, do you, do you have questions of, of what we are going to do? No? It's right, would like or would like to, okay? Okay. Okay, my dear, so let me stop sharing and send you the invitation for the breakout rooms. So we are going to have just three uh, groups and you can go and join. Okay. Would you like a break? Because a break, a break in, in this case is, an, is a noun. Yes. Entonces, uh -huh. Entonces sería, would you like? Uh -huh. would, would you like a break? Would you like a break yes ah. a break yes. yes yes we would yes, yes we would mm -hmm. i don't understand this um uh, i which could, huh? which Qual, qual? Uh, the third, the, the third? Number uh, three. Number ah, three. yeah, excuse me, hello. Do you have questions? I think that my dear is reading three, right? I don't understand this. It doesn't, it, the sentence says that. La oración dice así, I don't understand this. 
Ah, yo pensé que no. <risa> no, es aún, funny. Aún, aún, aún no lo había leído. Por eso. I, I thought the same, but later I watch my cell phone and I see, oh, she's reading. <risa> she's reading the sentence. <risa> yes. Thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. I just, um, I'm just coming here to see if you have questions or it's okay. everything okay? It's okay. Okay, okay. perfect. I'll we give don't have you a question. Three more minutes in order to, that you can advance, okay? Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Hello, Nadia, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, my dear Noria, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. My dear, uh, would you like that I add you to a group in order to continue working or would you like to continue just by, by yourself? ¿Le gustaría que aún la adicione a un grupo eh, para desarrollar el trabajo que estamos haciendo o le gustaría tratar de avanzar por su cuenta? Estamos sí. en la mitad de un ejercicio. Voy a esperar mejor porque me acabo de incorporar. Está bien. Eh, si gusta, yo le explico ahorita lo que estamos haciendo. Okay. Eh, en el chat, usted va a ver que yo he mandado algunas imágenes y la última mm -hmm. tiene que ver con un ejercicio en donde estamos tratando de resolver eh, el uso de would, eh, de would like y would like to. Okay. Realmente utilizamos would like eh, cuando la palabra que sigue es un sustantivo o noun. Okay. Por ejemplo, I, I would like a cup of tea. A cup of tea es, es un, un sustantivo o no. Mm -hmm. Pero yo puedo usar would you like to cuando la siguiente palabra es un verbo. Por ejemplo, I would like to drink. To drink. Me gustaría tomar. I would like to drink a cup of tea. Entonces eso es lo que estamos haciendo en el ejercicio. Mm -hmm. Tratando de ver cuándo es eh, would like. Would like. Y, o would like, would like to. Y hemos okay. estado aprendiendo que hemos visto la diferencia y en el material que les mande adicional van a ver eh, cuando utilizamos would de una manera bien diplomática o bien amable para pedir cosas. Okay. Y también el uso de will, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es básicamente lo que estamos haciendo y ahora que regresemos a la plenaria usted va a ver cómo se resuelve el ejercicio. Ok, my dear, see you in a minute because I need to go to the other groups to see what they are doing, right? Right. Ok, see you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, ah. Hello, my uh, dear. Do you have questions? Hello. Everything ok? Mm, no. No? <laughs> no tenemos <laughs> preguntas, todo bien? Tenemos, tenemos eh, una, bueno, tenemos adelante, una duda. Es, adelante, es en, la, es en la segunda. Uh -huh. eh, y le está preguntando, ¿verdad? Would you like a break? ¿Verdad? Yes, would you like a break? Entonces, ajá, entonces la respuesta, ¿cómo sería? Yes. Yes, we would. Solo el yes, would. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. es, es, es lo mismo en la, ¿qué? En la cinco. Let's see, number five. En la respuesta. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, he would. Would, uh, would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Okay. okay. Sí, okay. es lo mismo. Okay, my dears, see you in a minute. Thank Lo veo you. un minutito, okay? Perfect, you're welcome. Okay. okay. Uh, hey, uh, a screen. A screen okay. Hello. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Okay, here, my dears. Do you have questions? Todo bien por acá? Tenemos preguntas? Yes. yes, we finish a teacher. Excellent. I'll call you now to the main room. Okay? Okay. okay. Excellent. Good night.
Hello, hello, welcome back. How was the practice? People is joining. Okay, welcome back, my dears. Okay, welcome. Uh, I would like to see how was the practice, how was the exercise? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? A ver. Very easy. Good. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Would you like to start reading? Me gustaría que comiencen a leerlo y luego yo les voy a mostrar las respuestas a ver si coincidimos. Okay, let's see. Volunteer for number two. Would you like a break? Would you like a break? Yes. Yes, we would. Excellent. Volunteer for number three. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Number uh, four. In number four, um, Patrick will, uh, Patrick, uh, so, sorry, sorry, uh, just a second, uh, tengo, un er tengo un error aquí. Don't worry. Sería, Patrick, would, would you like to go to the supermarket? He needs milk. Okay, would like to, would like yes. to. Mm -hmm. Would like to go to the, yes, he needs milk. Very good. Okay, number five. Volunteer for number five. Thank you. Me, teacher. Okay, please. <clears throat> Could Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Excellent. That's a question, right? So you move wood at the beginning of the sentence. Thank you very much. Volunteer for number six? Me. Please, go ahead. Okay. Uh, can, I, can, can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket. Mm, Melbourne. To Melbourne. Melbourne. Yes. yes. Melbourne, it's an Australian Melbourne. city. Melbourne, yes. Okay. Melbourne. Thank you. Okay, number seven, volunteer. My friends, uh, my friends la would like to would like to come to the party next week. Excellent, thank you. Number eight. It's a question. It's similar to number five, right? Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Right? No, I wouldn't. Okay, number nine. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Yes, it's a choice question, right? Thank you. Number 10, volunteer. Would you like to see a movie? Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't. Excellent, it's similar to number eight. Thank you. Uh, number 11, volunteer. What, what would you like to do tomorrow? Yes, what would you like to do tomorrow? It's a question, right? Excellent. Number 12. Who would you like some candy? We would, we right? Excellent. Solo le quitamos el you. Who would like some candy? Como no sabemos a quién, ¿verdad? Es como una pregunta abierta. ¿A quién le gustaría algún dulce? Who would like some candy? Uh, we would, right? Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, look, I have here the answer. Would you like a break? Yes, podríamos decir yes, we would, or yes, please. No? I don't understand. I would like some help with my homework. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Es una afirmativa, ¿verdad? Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. My friends would like to come to the party next week. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Would you like chocolate or ice 
Uh, or uh, would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. What would you like to do tomorrow? Who would like some candy? We would. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Okay, um, I'm going to expand this, you know, that you can watch it better. Uh, for making requests, you can have some examples, some additional examples like this. Would you mind turning down the TV, Rosanne? I'm trying to study. Sure, I'll turn it down. That's another possible way uh, to answer, vea. Eh, por eso es que está, lo voy a decir en español para que quede un poquito más claro, por eso es que se ponen juntos, el would con el will. Porque normalmente eh, damos, damos respuestas más bien utilizando el will que, que el would como tal, ¿verdad? Entonces, son respuestas todavía mucho más eh, completas, ¿verdad? Que simplemente decir sí o no. Would you mind, ese would you mind es... No te importaría, no te molestaría. Would you mind turning down? Y vea que después del would you mind, el verbo principal va con ing. Would you mind turning down the TV, Roshan? I'm trying to study. Le pide, ¿verdad? Y luego le explica. Estoy tratando de estudiar. Y Roshan answer, sure. Answers, should. I'll turn it down. I, es como, I will. Sí, la voy a, ah, le voy a bajar, ¿verdad? El volumen en este caso. The next example. Max, could you move your car, please? It's blocking my way. Ah, oh, okay. I'll park it across the street. We say, I'll, I'll, I'll park it across the street. Cuando ya nos piden hacer algo, entonces, y damos una respuesta más amplia. Eh, sí, verdad, sí, lo, lo, lo haré, eh, lo parquearé eh, al cruzar la calle. Would you mind not making? Vea que aquí era una affirmative, aquí tenemos una negative. Not making. Would you mind not making so much noise? Sorry, I didn't know I was disturbing you. Yeah, the person is polite and say, sorry, I didn't know I was disturbing you. Please close the door on your way out. All right, I'll do it. Would you mind helping me to carry this table? Not at all. Not at all, it's no, verdad, no hay problema. I can do it. Excuse me, could you move your legs, please? Sorry, I didn't know I was bothering you. Can you help me in the kitchen? Sure, no problem. Esa es otra forma, verdad, pero ya dijimos que el can eh, se utiliza más en una forma familiar, verdad, when I'm talking with my family or my friends. Eh, can you lend me your camera for today? Let me es, yo la voy a tomar prestada de ti, ¿verdad? Es decir, tú préstamela a mí, ¿verdad? Eh, can you lend me eh, your camera for a day? Oh, I'm really sorry, I'm using it. In this case, it's not possible, right? But even in the answer, it's very polite. Oh, I'm really sorry, I'm using it. Can I borrow your pen? Sure, here you are. Okay, because of the time we are not going to be able to practice and to do the role play that is what's planned, but I just want you to see that we have more ways and more, more possibilities to answer to these polite requests. For example, would you help me re, uh, read this? Of course, I will help you, right? Okay, uh, here I have a conversation. Uh, that I want you to see. For example, this is in the business. Uh, uh, this is with um, like business vocabulary. Would you like, uh, would you like me uh, to help you on? Vea, es un poquito más elaborado. Would you like me to help you on your new project? Te gustaría que yo te ayude en tu nuevo proyecto? Vean la expresión. Would you like me to help you on your new project? I will love the help. Would you prefer helping with the writing part or is programming more your thing? I will enjoy helping with the writing portion. Perfect. You'll be working alone on that portion. Do you like to work alone? That it's okay sometimes. Our first meeting is next Monday. Could you meet with us at that time? No, I can't be there. Please send me your background information before the meeting so I can look at it. I can send that information to you. Okay, I look forward to, to
to working with you. Enjoy your week. Okay, so that's a very elaborated conversation, right, in the business world. So uh, you can find uh, the expressions that we have been working uh, in, that, in that part. So here, uh, here is ordering a meal, very related with what the platform uh, is requesting. And in this case, if you see, we are using uh, different model auxiliaries. For example, may. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like. I'd, it, remember, is would, but in the contracted form. I'd like the lamb uh, kebabs. All right. And what would you like? And what would you like a salad? And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, very good. Some other expressions that I have for you just to remind you. Will, remember that will help us to give a promise uh, it, it can be an instant decision. I can offer you, I can establish certain prediction. For example, to, have a, to give you a promise. I'll give you a call on Monday. That's a promise. I'll take these books with me. That's an instant decision. We'll book your tickets if you like. That's an offer. We will see an increase in salaries next year. That's a certain prediction. Would. Would you mind if I, if I open the window? This is asking for permission. Would you make me a coffee? That's a request. Would you be available at six tonight? Make an arrangement. Would you like to go out sometime? That's an invitation. Would you prefer the window seat or ISO? Preferences, so I'm asking for preference. Show. Shall I, shall, I, uh, shall I get the phone or will you? That's asking what to do. Shall is very similar to will. This is not very common. Uh, it's like in the old English, but it's considered a model also. Shall I call a cab? It's Teacher. offering, right? Yeah. Sorry, what is shall? It's a casi como will. Okay. Eh, es, es exactamente casi el mismo meaning. Es futuro. Shall I get the phone or will you? Eh, ¿Tomo yo el teléfono o lo tomas tú? Shall I call a cab? Eh, ¿Llamo una, un taxi? ¿Sí? Eh, shall uh -huh. we say at 9, eh, at 9 p.m. at Emmy's then? ¿Nos reunimos entonces a las 9 p.m. Eh, donde Emmy? Entonces, suggestion. Es como haremos, hacemos tal cosa, ¿verdad? Es, es bien parecido a will. A will. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Should. Remember that should is to give advice. Uh, for example, you should see a doctor. You don't look well, right? So I'm giving you an advice. But as we said before, that's not an obligation. You can decide if go to the doctor or not to go to the doctor. We should get a specialist that's giving a recommendation or recommending an action, right? We should get a specialist. Salary should go up next year. That's a prediction, but it's uncertain. It's completely different with will, right? Because with will, it's a certain prediction, but in this case, it's an uncertain prediction. Out to, remember that out to is it's equal to should, and how to is more used in the British English than in the American English, as I said before. You ought to go to the dentist before you leave. Advice, suggestion. Must. Must is the opposite to should and to ought to, ought to, because must is a need. It's an obligation, right? It's like to say, you have to, you need to, you must. I must leave now to catch my train. It means if I don't do it, my train, my train will leave, right? So I must leave now to catch my train. So it's an obligation and necessity. You mustn't ask too many questions. It's a prohibition. It's like you don't have to ask many questions. 
uh, so it's a prohibition. So it's in, in a sense like the opposite. Okay, my dears, I would like to know if you have questions so far. Me gustaría saber si tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. Yes, I have one, teacher. Excuse me? Yes, I have one. <laughs> yes, please tell me. Uh, what it mean? Um, would you mind? Uh, would you mind is no te molestaría o no te importaría. Uh, Okay. Would you mind if I open the window, please? Aquí está, está aquí quiero, perdón, está equivocado. Es, I, if I open, no, I open. En, el, está en pasado, pero lo correcto es open, sin el pasado, sin el ED. Would you mind if I open the window? Es, no te molesta que abra la ventana. Como pidiendo permiso, pero de una manera bien polite, ¿verdad? Eh, Podría haber dicho, may I open the window? And I say, yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's, it's similar, but would you mind is como bien respetuoso. Si usted me dice que no le molesta, la abro, ¿verdad? Si no, no. Okay. ¿Sí? And the, the pronunciation with would is would or would? No, without the L. The L, it doesn't sound. You say would. Would you mind? Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, would you mind? Thank you, Miss. Would you make? Would you? Yes, without the L. It, the L doesn't sound in this case. Thank you okay. very much for asking, my dears. You will have, remember that uh, tonight, or, I mean, tomorrow morning, I will upload this material so you can access this material with the same link I sent you for the week number two. So this is going to be available. And also, I just want to remind you that tomorrow we are going to have an extra session in order to cover the Friday that we uh, couldn't complete before vacation. So I appreciate if we can join tomorrow this time. I promise that the next two weeks you will be free on Friday, okay? Les prometo que solo mañana, ¿verdad? <laughs> solo mañana y los próximos dos viernes que nos quedan pues son libres para ustedes. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to finish section, section number three and uh, work in the midterm exam, right? Okay, thank you. Do you have questions so far, my dears? Tenemos preguntas? No. Okay, so just let me go back. Solo dejen ir rapidito a la plataforma. Porque se me quedó algo. Sí, el 3.11, right? Uh, so... This knowledge check says that you have to use will or would. So the waiter says, what would you like to order? What would you like to order, right? It's asking, right? Uh, or offering is support. And the customer says, I'll, I will. In este caso, I'll, but I will have the fried chicken. Es como, eh, ordenaré, verdad, o, o comeré las papas, eh, perdón, el pollo frito. Entonces, cuando yo pido, es I'll, I will, ¿verdad? I'll. Eh, the waiter says, would you like rice or potatoes? The customer, I would. I would like, recuerda que siempre eh, va, would like, ¿verdad? Would like. I would like potatoes, please. No se dice, I want potatoes, please. Lo puedo hacer, pero suena rude, unpolite. Right? The waiter says, what kind of potatoes would you like? Mashed, baked, or French fries? Aquí hay un errorcito. Ahí me disculpo porque es fries. Um, the customer says, I'd like mashed potatoes. Right? Mashed potatoes es como el puré, ¿verdad? Que están todas... Eh, Digamos, hechas pasta, mashed potatoes. And the waiter says, that will be, um, would that be for, would that be all for now? That's a question. Es como, sería, eso sería todo por ahora? Would that be all for now? With the intonation, right? Would that be all for now? Right, so that's the, the 3.11 knowledge check. And then uh, tomorrow we are going to, work on um, skills for listening uh, and read for details. So we are going to talk about this audio and then we are going to talk about the final, I mean, the midterm exam. 
in any other question you may have, okay? So, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No? No, teacher. Okay, my dears. In that case, I thank you very much for coming here. Remember that I'm going to be available during the weekend to help you to answer the platform. So the goal is that uh, for this coming Sunday, we have finished all related to section number three, including the midterm exam. So just in case you have doubts, questions, or uh, any support uh, requests, you can write to the chat or you can write directly to me and I can help you. Because next week we are going to work in section number four and then we have just two weeks in order to finish the, the model. So thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow uh, from nine to 10 to complete the section number three in midterm exam, okay? okay. Thank you, thank have you. a good night, rest good and night. be safe. Good night, see you tomorrow, bye-bye.